Hi, and welcome to this video on how to administer and submit DCYF Youth Experience Surveys. My name is Dori Camino, and I am a Community Engagement and Communications Manager at DCYF, and I will be walking you through these guidelines. By now, you should have watched the overview video, which showed why the youth surveys are important and how we use that data. But just in case, here's a recap. Youth surveys give us important information on the youth's backgrounds and their experiences in DCYF funded programs from their own perspectives. DCYF uses that data for continuous improvement efforts. Administering the survey to at least 65% of your program participants is a grant requirement. So this video will provide guidelines for administering and submitting youth surveys. Following these guidelines will help ensure that the youth surveys are giving us the information possible. They will also help you fulfill the DCYF Youth Survey Grant requirements. Youth surveys are satisfaction questionnaires youth participants of DCYF funded programs complete. There are program satisfaction questions, demographic questions, and questions on social emotional learning needs. The surveys are relatively short they should not take more than 10 to 15 minutes to complete. There are six survey types, one for each DCYF service area, educational supports, ELS, justice services, mentorship, out of school time, and youth workforce development. Surveys are readily available in four languages, English, Chinese, Spanish, and Tagalog. For additional languages, contact Xavier Morales or Ryan Sapinoso at DCYF. Contact information is shown at the end of this video. Program participants in grades six and above should complete the survey. Please note, this is a major change from the previous funding cycle. In addition, surveys should be completed by program participants who are close to completing the number of hours required for program completion which can be found in your program's work plan. This ensures that those who are completing the survey have had sufficient time in your program to be able to speak to their general experience in the program. Those in grades three to five should not complete the survey, since the surveys are for youth with at least a middle school reading comprehension level. Program participants in literacy supports, detention-based, and miscellaneous programs should not complete the survey. Parents or guardians should not complete the survey on behalf of their children either. Surveys should be administered just before the program ends. If your program works with multiple cohorts throughout the year, then surveys should be administered just before the cohort ends. This means you are not just surveying youth who happen to be in your program at the end of the year. You may want to administer the surveys on more than one day to ensure all participants have a chance to complete surveys. Surveys are available in two formats, online and paper. Programs may use both formats in order to maximize their response rate. To use the online format, contact Xavier Morales or Ryan Sapinoso at DCYF for your program's unique survey link. Their contact information will be shared at the end of the video. To use the paper format, simply download the survey from the Resources tab in CMS and print out copies. Make sure you are administering the correct survey type for your program. For information on which survey type you should use, please refer to the Youth Experience Surveys handout. Now here are some tips for administering paper surveys. Set aside 10 to 15 minutes during program time for all participants to fill out the survey at the same time. Have them complete the survey before the programming begins that day. If you wait until the end of programming, they might rush through the survey to leave. Administer the surveys on more than one date to ensure all participants have a chance to complete the survey. To keep track of participants who fill the survey out, you can print out a roster and check off names as they complete the survey. This will help you track your progress towards the 65% grant requirement. After you complete the surveys, be sure to store the surveys in a safe place where staff or other youth cannot access them. 
do not have youth write their names or other identifying information on the survey. Do not review youth responses. Here's some tips for the online survey. Programs who wish to administer the online survey need to contact Xavier Morales or Ryan Sapinoso at DCYF. To have youth fill out the online survey, simply give them the link. Online surveys are smartphone and tablet friendly. To ensure that program participants complete the survey, allow them to fill it out before the programming begins that day. How to submit surveys to DCYF. Paper surveys need to have a cover sheet. Cover sheets are the only way to identify your program's youth surveys, so be sure to complete all fields carefully. Paper surveys should be dropped off or mailed to DCYF, 1390 Market Street, Suite 900, San Francisco, California, 94102. Online surveys are automatically submitted to DCYF, so no extra work is needed there. Surveys that are administered during the summer are due September 30th. Summer generally falls between the end of May to mid-August. DCYF will start accepting summer surveys September 1st. Surveys that are administered during the school year are due June 30th. The school year generally falls mid-August to end of May. DCYF will start accepting school year surveys June 1st. Here are some additional youth survey resources for you and some contact information. Youth Survey Administration Guidelines Handout, which is in the Resources tab in the CMS. The Overview of Youth Surveys video, which is on our website. DCYF Fiscal Year 2018-19 Performance Measures by Strategy Handout, which is in the Resources tab in CMS. Electronic versions of the paper surveys can be found in the Resources tab in CMS. Copies of the worksheet, copies of the cover sheet, which needs to be attached to your packet of surveys, can also be found in the Resources tab in CMS. Contact information. To request an online survey link or additional languages, contact Xavier Morales at xavier.morales at dcyf.org or Ryan Sapinoso at ryan.sapinoso at dcyf.org. You may contact Xavier or Ryan with general questions about the youth surveys. Your DCYF program specialist is also a resource. This concludes the survey this concludes the Youth Survey Administration video. Thank you for watching.